We're cooking with oats just like we have been all week. Not just any oats, Haraway's Oats. The only oats made and produced by a family in New Zealand. They are delicious and versatile. And today, we're gonna make the quintessential crumble. Everyone loves a good crumble. And the best thing about a crumble is that it's interchangeable for so many different fruits. So I'm gonna show you guys the crumble basics, the topping to make a really nice oaty crumble, which I guarantee you will always be crispy every time. So we've got a bowl there with some cold butter. And to that, we're gonna add in a few ingredients. I've got two different types of oats there. We've got some rolled oats, as well as some whole grain oats. The point of that is that one gives texture and one cooks a bit faster and get a nuttier flavor from that. Some brown sugar and a little bit of flour. That's gonna help combine everything. And you really wanna get your fingers in here and kind of break that up. Kind of like you're making scones, right? Remember, Fingertips, not the palm of your hands, because the palm of your hands are the warmest part of your hands and it will actually melt the butter and not break it up and create nice fine breadcrumbs. Right? That will take about five minutes. Put that aside and we'll deal to our fruit. Now you can use any fruit you like. Apple is always a good base, so we've got a couple of uh, peeled and cored apples. You can cube them, you can slice them up to you. And with this, you can put in some other ingredients like summertime now, or almost, so you can put in some fresh berries. Imagine some boysenberries or blackberries or raspberries amongst your apples. Beautiful color and beautiful summer twist. Or if it's autumn, you can put in some chopped firm pears and make it very autumnal and put in some spices like cinnamon. Right, we've got one apple in there, probably won't need the second one. And all you need is just enough sugar to coat that. Besides, the apple is sweet enough already. But keep in mind if you're using tart fruit like raspberries, you might need a touch more. So have a play around, experiment a bit, and go with what you like trying and tasting best. Here we go. So we've got the apples in a wee ramekin, and we've got some crumb mixture. This is the one I've done earlier, not that one. And what we're gonna do is just sprinkle some of that on top. And the best thing about it is the texture. You can see that there's some clumps that are quite big and some that are quite fine. What that does is you get different, different textures in each bite when you're getting your mouth around that. Made a bit of a mess. It's all right, it's a crumble, it's rustic. Into the oven, 180 degrees, let that cook for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the firmness of your fruit. And um, I'll get the spare boy out, it's very hot. Ooh -hoo. And what you wanna do is spoon that out onto a plate. Ice cream, whipped cream, clotted cream, custard, all of the above works really well. Look at that recipe for this online at facebook.com forward slash Mike Spikes where you'll find other recipes I've made all week. Monday, I made three variations on porridge, caramelized walnuts, peanut butter, and banana, and also a savory chicken pea risotto with oats. Wednesday, I showed you guys some beauty ideas using oats. Strange, I know, but it works. Thursday, caramel slice. That was very oaty. And today, this crumble, which you can use with any fruits. Don't forget that you can win these Haraway oats if you just head online and enter. It's so easy, they're so delicious, it's so worth it.